Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. If you are an avid YouTube watcher, which I assume you would be if you're watching this video, then you would have seen how YouTubers tell you to level up your productivity by using those big note-taking apps with thousands of features like Notion. I'm not one of them. I mostly use Apple Notes or Notepad, but I recently started using Obsidian, which is basically a markdown editor with some better features than Apple Notes or Notepad. But with the emergence of AI, I also started using things like RAG or just simple chat interfaces to summarize or understand content much better. But every time I wanted to summarize some of my notes, I either had to copy the whole note, paste it into a chat interface to get a summary, or create a PDF, and then feed it into a RAG application. Also, it wasn't possible to feed multiple notes at once into any interface. But I recently found out about Rior. Rior is an AI-based desktop note-taking app that is very simple with a similar interface to Obsidian and has an inbuilt chat interface that basically takes the context of your notes. With the help of this context, you can basically chat with your notes. It also has some more in-depth features. For example, if you have multiple notes on the same topic, it can automatically link them for better understanding and searching through notes. It also has a great AI-based search, which allows you to search through notes without needing to know the exact keywords. Pretty cool. It supports Olama and is fully open source and local. So, you don't have to worry about your sensitive data being sent to servers. Although, it can be used with OpenAI endpoints if needed. Now, let me tell you how you can get it installed. I'll be telling you how to use it with Olama. I prefer this option because your notes may contain sensitive information, and I don't want that information being transmitted over the internet. Anyway, first, let's get Olama installed. Go to Olama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. It should start running in the background. Now, go to the Rior project and click on the download option. Choose your operating system and download the setup file. Now, you'll see this screen. Now, you'll need to either create a new vault or use an older vault. You can use your older vault from Obsidian here as well. I'll be using a new vault. So, I have added an empty directory here. Now, we need to choose our LLM here. I'll be using it with a llama. So, I'll choose local LLM here. Now, enter the model you want to use here. You can find the model name from a llama's model page. I'll be using llama3. So, I'll be entering llama3 here. Now click download. Once downloaded, click the cross button. Now choose the new model as the default LLM here and click next. It will start initializing. After it's done, you'll see this screen. It's pretty simple. On the left, you can see some options and your notes. In the middle, you see your notes. And on the right, you'll see your linked notes. Now, let's look at the other options. The second option is the chat option, which we'll look at in depth later. Then, there's the semantic search option, which searches through your notes. Then, there's a new note option. You can create a new note here. First, enter the title, and then enter your note contents. Next, there is the new folder option. You can create a new folder from here, and manage your notes better by categorizing notes inside folders. At the bottom, you'll also see the settings option. Let's check that out as well. Here you have multiple options. The first one is LLM. Here you can change your LLM if you want. Then, there's the Embedding Model option, where you can change the embedding models. Next, there's the Hardware option, where you can't do anything. It's just some text written here. Next, there's the Text Generation option, which allows you to set the Temperature and Max Tokens option. Then, there's the RAG option. Here, 
you can change how many maximum numbers of notes are taken into context when you chat with your notes. Anyway, now let's go to the chat option and see how it works. Okay, now we are here. As we already have a pre-generated note about Rior, let's ask it, what is Rior? Now, you can see on the right that the context is automatically added here based on semantic search. This context is now fed into the LLM, and let's see if it gives the correct answer. Okay, we have the answer here. Pretty cool. Let me also tell you how you can use it with a specific note if you don't want to feed the LLM with multiple notes. Go to your notes and right-click on the note you want to use and click on Add File to Chat Context. Once you click it, you'll be sent to the chat screen with your context added on the right-hand side. Pretty cool. And that's how you can chat with your notes through LLMs. This is a really great tool for note-taking and summarizing your notes in one place. I'll be using it going forward. Let me know if you will use it or not in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.